with me. Just as an example of how to use design on a humanistic way in uh, city development. This is the Potsdamer Platz in Berlin, pre-war, pre-World War II war. You could say this was the epicenter of culture in Europe during those days. Like theaters, dance, music, restaurants, you name it. They got it all. Looks pretty fantastic. But after the war, or during the, the, the last years of the war, this was completely erased from the earth. Nothing. Completely away. It was deserted for a long time, and it's just been developed over the last 10 years. And i show you how it looks today. This is what we got. This is exactly the same spot. To me, pretty strange, if you see it out this kind of cultural perspective, what we have. To me, I think, well, it seems like the developers got a little too much to say. I will share a little about this kind of big scale things, that there is a way to, to produce things in another scale. And it's this one. This is a perfect example. This is from my hometown Malmö. This is a former industrial area where there were a big wharf, like the biggest in Europe, but they run out of business. And Malmö have made this very nice transformation from being an industrial city without industries, like really bad industry, really in a bad situation, and turning it into a new, very dynamic, creative city with a new university, and this is a big part of it. Well, there was this building exhibition where they created, it's called Westerham, where it's all this kind of small-scale cultural things that is very like holistic and humanistic level, and it's all these green roofs, Everything is like with the wind power, a lot of solar energy. It's connected to the, the big grid we have in Sweden with, with heat. And it's, you see, because here, all the big developers were forced to break down the, the size of their, each development. They divided the different quarters. And it became a fantastic humanistic scale. There are Chinese delegations every week in Malmö visiting this place and say, we want this. We want to take an exact copy of this to China. It's a lot of to learn from this, this project. And it's, it's developing in the whole harbor of Malmö. So now we're coming to the very end. I think I'm on the, on the... So this picture I took yesterday the, on my Spanish, Pele Cuera Francesca. Sorry. I have to say, this is, so far, I've been here for five days. This is my best experience. The best experience, I've been at the, having lunch at the W Hotel. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> but these guys in this small shop, it's so cool. It's the best thing of my whole trip. And the area is called, I have to write it down, Barrio Dungai. And I see so great possibilities in this area. I understand that it's already a master plan, it's sort of protected and there is ideas. This could be so good. I mean, oh, I'm, I wish we had that in Malmo to develop that. You bring in all the creative forces, the architect, the designers, the nice small places, and you could do it. Oh, it's so great area. So please do it in a good way. This is really what I'm talking about.